Hey, I'm a focus. Cash me out in London, sneaking Polish. I'm having money on my mind, I have the money in my pocket. Bone marrow roasted, spread it on the rosemary bread, lightly toasted. Drizzle with the vinaigrette, stuffed Dutchess, and it's pulling like a cigarette. In today's episode, we're going to be going over the coins, which I think are at a good discount. And also going over the current price action of Bitcoin and what to expect in the next couple of weeks or so, based upon some technical analysis. So <clears throat> if we have a look at the top 10, you can see there's a lot of projects that are heavy. If we have a look at the top 10, we can see that there are lots of projects that are at. If we have a look at the top 10, we can see that there are a lot of projects that are at a heavy discount, um, notable projects being Chainlink at an 11% discount. Stellar as well is also at an 11% discount as well. Um, a lot of coins have gone up. Bitcoin's at a 8% discount. Binance is Binance coin is at a 13% discount. I'm um, looking at the biggest gainers for the day. We have Solana, Serum, Phantom, Uniland Finance, um, Kusama, and Tomo chain as well. So congratulations if you're holding those coins. I'm not necessarily recommending buying these. Not all of them anyway. Our crypto.com at 30%. Uh, EOS, Qtum, and OKB as well. All ranging between 15 and 20% basically. Um, but in terms of projects that I think are good fundamentally, I think Polkadot is a good project to be picking up right now if you have a look. It's had its bounce at the $30 level, so if you missed that, unfortunately, um, it's not too late to get back in, but there still may be further um, you know, bounces or further downside, depending on what Bitcoin does, which we will go over in a bit. Synthetics as well has broken out of this downwards ascending channel. It did find some support at roughly the $16 level here, uh, which corresponds with previous price action here. Um, I haven't really drawn a fib out for it, but you can see that there is price uh, confluence in this sort of area here. So potentially a good buy. Or I definitely think it's a good buy. It's a token metrics recommendation. A refinance as well, similar things broken out of the downwards sort of bull flag or descending channel. But it is um, currently trading at prices that we saw just at the start of February. So around three cent or so did have a bounce at the previous I think all-time high I believe uh, and it bounced very cleanly off of that level I did pick up somatic I can't remember the exact price that I bought it at but this project in terms of ethereum scaling this is definitely a good project to accumulate at a discount um, for the next few days or so it could get very very choppy but I'm buying it for the next few months and I'm just gonna wait until there's price appreciation there. With the news around ETH 2.0 with EIP 1559, um, I, I do think there'll be some buzz around <coughs> ETH scaling solutions. So back to Bitcoin. If we have a look, Bitcoin broke out or downwards from this upwards ascending channel here. And now we've drawn the Fibonacci retracement. So um, basically we did bounce off the 618 and uh, we could see some price confluence in the area. On the daily chart though, uh, we're still looking very bullish. Uh, we did have a crossover on the MACD and in terms of what that meant for the price, well, let's look back to January and we did top out around 42K. We had the bearish crossover on the MACD and then there was some consolidation. So the price did go back up, not past the previous all time high, so if we were to bounce from here, I wouldn't expect us to straight away to go past there, simply because we need to you know, load up and form another pattern. But essentially, from our previous rejection point, 42,000, we were finding support between the 30,000 and the $27,000 level. And uh, if we have a look at some moving averages, it can give us potentially a better idea of what to expect. And uh, looking at the MA50, after our <coughs> excuse me after our bearish crossover on the macd we did bounce off of the ma50 so potentially if the same thing is to happen and we are to bounce off the ma50 bearing in mind that it's moving up 
uh, depends on when this bounce depends on when the price action comes into contact with the MA50 but this could be potentially in this golden pocket area or it could be a bit higher it really is hard to say um, if we were to draw a fractal not to say that this is exactly going to play out like it did but let's just draw a fractal here so potentially price comes back up and then goes back down so in the next week or so what's the date today it's the 23rd in the next two weeks excuse me not guaranteed to happen exactly how we saw here but you know maybe something similar and um, in the worst case scenario we would look to hold the ma100 as support if we look back to the previous bull run let's have a look at what the price actions were in accordance to these movement averages that we're looking at at the moment so looking at the whole duration of the last bull run you can see here that we touched the ma100 quite a few times we touched it three times four times during the bull run and the last touch essentially was the last the last one the, the last touch of the ma100 meant the the end of the bull run and i don't i don't think we're at the end of the bull run so so relating to the current price action we have not yet touched the ma100 at all uh, looking at the first bearish cross over on the MACD of you know any significance here uh, obviously after breaking out of the all-time high we can see here that we did come down to touch the MA100 and that took quite some time that took maybe a month to play out if we calculate from the crossover on the MACD to so that took 34 days exactly and um, then exactly the same thing happened not too long after that and when we crossed over on the MA50 or MA excuse me when we crossed over on the MACD it took 26 days for price to touch the MA100 and um, going forward to today's price action now we didn't touch the MA100 on the previous bearish cross on the MACD but if we were to touch it this time around let's say the average time it took for price to touch the ma100 from the macd cross was around 28 days or so so potentially in the next couple potentially in the next 28 days this is what we could expect to see uh, with the ma50 coming up into the uh, key fibonacci areas such as the golden pocket uh, price action could potentially come down from lower highs and can you know continue to consolidate and potentially bounce off of the ma50 if not then we would expect to hold the ma100 so if you're a trader out there personally i don't really like to short but i have switched short term bearish so i would be looking for short term scalps if we were to break the $47,000 to $45,000 area, that would indicate that price action is going to go back down. But I think more than likely that we will see a bounce before that is to happen. But I could be wrong. So before we end the video, another key thing to mention, which I briefly forgot about, was the RSI on the daily. So you can see here the two highlighted sections in red and in green red indicating so the sell indication and green indicating a buy indication so you can see how well or how accurate in my opinion an indication it has been to either buy or sell bitcoin and obviously now we have been rejected from the oversold territory and we are coming down into what has been historically a good indication of or a, a good entry point into when to you know potentially buy bitcoin so these indicators would all mesh together to, to form the best price to buy bitcoin so if we are to come back down into this buying territory that would correspond with more consolidation which would include a bounce of either the MA50 as I, as we mentioned or the MA100 and uh, I'd like to give a shout out to Trading Short this is actually where I got 
some of my analysis from. So um, <clears throat> these are just things to keep an eye out for. But I uh, hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, hit the like button and uh, see you guys soon. Bye.